Welcome to the Language Cert Writing Test of English. This presentation aims to share with you the main points related to this English language qualification that you may wish to consider for your students. Here are the main points of today's presentation. First of all, what the LT writing test is all about and who it's for. Then the available formats of the writing test, its key features and some details about scoring, the assessment criteria and grading. Moving on, there will be reference to the topics, language functions and main grammar points to prepare your candidates for. Finally, the support material available to both teachers and candidates and how you can contact us should you have any questions about the LTE writing test. So, First of all, what is the LT writing test all about? What does it aim at? Well, the LT writing test aims at assessing the candidate's language proficiency and in particular at assessing their writing skills across six levels, all aligned with the common European framework. It also aims at assessing the candidate's language competence in the areas of English for general purposes and English for professional purposes. There are no entry requirements prior to candidates taking the LT writing test, so they don't need to have obtained any English language certification beforehand, for example, a B1 or B2 level certification. Now, who is the LT writing test for? The LT writing test is aimed at non-native speakers of English aged 18 or more who wish to acquire an internationally recognised certification of their English language competence, wish to provide current or potential employers with information as to their English language level, wish to monitor their own progress in learning English, and who wish to undertake a course of study at or English speaking university or college and require evidence of their English language proficiency. The LT writing test is a useful tool for employers. Employers who, for example, wish to identify the English language level of their applicants, wish to benchmark the English language level required for different positions within their workforce, or wish to require an internationally recognised certification as part of the hiring process. The LT writing test is also a valuable and reliable assessment instrument for universities and colleges that need to establish the English language level of students to evaluate their ability to follow their chosen course of study or wish to offer students a test which will provide them with an internationally recognised certification of their English language competence. Before moving on, it might be useful to clarify that there's also the LTE listening and reading test available for candidates and you'll find useful information about it on our website should you be interested in it. 
these two tests, the LTE writing and the LTE listening and reading tests, are two standalone tests. Candidates don't have to take both of them unless they're aiming at achieving both qualifications. Writing tests now, there are two formats available, the paper-based one and the computer-based one. Both formats of the LTE writing test are identical in terms of content. The tasks assessed are identical. And both formats of the test lead to the same certificate. What also needs to be clarified is that there's no overall certification for candidates taking both the LTE writing test and the LTE listening and reading test. Now, let's look at the structure of the LTE writing test and at the duration of the writing tasks. Candidates are required to, to complete two writing tasks, both of them being mandatory. They are given 60 minutes for both writing tasks. The first task takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes to complete, and the second one approximately 40 to 45 minutes. The first task is a guided writing task, primarily targeting A1 to B2 level candidates. It asks them to produce a short piece of writing which will successfully communicate the required information. Candidates will need to write between 60 and 100 words. The second task tests the ability to produce extended writing and is primarily targeting B1 to C2 level candidates. The context is a topical issue or a workplace matter. Candidates are required to produce a text of between 200 to 250 words, which may be a report, an article or a review. Some more details now about the writing tasks. Both writing tasks assess the test taker's ability to write for a wide range of real life purposes and work related purposes. The test taker is expected to demonstrate control of grammatical forms, a wide range of vocabulary, as well as the ability to carry out a range of functions in English. A variety of authentic tasks is used to assess the test taker's writing skills and all writing tasks place an emphasis on effective communication. As regards the variety of English that can be used, candidates can select any variety of standard English such as British English or American English. Here are a few sample tasks. The first task asks candidates to imagine that they will be out of their office and need to write an email to a colleague who works for them. They need to share why they will be away, what dates they will be away and what work they will have to do while they are away. Candidates are required to write between 60 and 100 words. The second task you can see here provides candidates with two topic options. The first option asks them to imagine that their company wants to increase its use of technology. Candidates are asked to write a brief report for the company's CEO and refer to four points. 
the company's current uses of technology, how the use of technology can be extended, the benefits for the company and the training that will be required. The second option simply differs as regards to who wants to increase the use of technology. Candidates are asked to imagine that it's their college this time which wants to increase the use of technology and not the company CEO. And they need to refer to the four points provided in the first option. That's to say the company's current uses of technology, how the use of technology can be extended, the benefits for the company, and the training that will be required. Candidates are asked to write between 200 and 250 words. Here are some more examples of writing tasks. Task one asks candidates to write an email to a colleague from work about a book they borrowed from them, but which they lost. They should apologize to their colleague, explain how they lost the book and offer to buy a new one. Candidates need to write between 60 and 100 words. Task two asks candidates to imagine their company wants to sell its local sports drinks products to the international market. They need to write uh, the marketing director with their ideas. They can include the following points. The market research which should be carried out, pricing in different markets, and how to promote the product in the new markets. Here, candidates are required to produce 200 to 250 words. Okay, now let's have a look at the assessment criteria, scoring, and the related Common European Framework levels. To evaluate the candidate's response to task one, the assessor, will use four criteria. Task fulfillment, grammar, vocabulary and organisation and award up to four marks per criteria. This will involve a result with a total of 16 marks. If you look at the top chart, you can see that the levels of performance are zero if the candidate's response is indecipherable or below A1 level, one if it's at A1 level, two if at A2 level, three if at B1 level, four if it's at B2 level and above. To evaluate the candidate's response to task two now, there are four marking criteria once again, in fact, the same criteria as before. So task fulfillment, grammar, vocabulary, and organization. However, this time candidates can collect up to five marks per criterion, resulting in a total of 20 marks. The levels of performance for the second task are zero if the candidate's response is at A1 level, one if it's at A2 level, two if at B1 level, three if at B2 level, four if at C1 level, and finally five if at C2 level. Okay, focusing on grading now. 
once each writing task has been marked, an overall grade will be awarded. This overall grade will be established by adding together the scores of the two tasks and will be out of 36. The various common European framework levels are indicated by the cutoffs in this chart. Results are provided as an overall score out of 100, with the related Common European Framework level equivalent next to it. So you can see the various performance bands on the left of this chart and the corresponding Common European Framework levels on the right. Results are issued within 10 days and hard copy certificates are issued within five days upon receipt of the candidate's results. Concerning the topics candidates may have to be prepared for, you will find a detailed list in the LT Writing Qualification Handbook. The following list of topics aims at giving you a quick indication of the range of these topics. Candidates may be required to provide personal identification details, refer to office tasks and routine, or the business environment, health and safety, entertainment of clients, free time, relationships with colleagues and clients, and more. In the same document, that is to say in the LTE Writing Qualification Handbook, you'll find the functional language areas that may be covered in the LT writing test. This list includes some of the most common areas of functional language that students will need to engage with. A useful section of the same document relates to the main grammar points candidates should be prepared for. Here is an example related to levels A1, A2 and B1. More can be found in the LTE Writing Qualification Handbook, of course. Soon after their test, candidates receive their statement of results. There is reference to the skill assessed, that is to say writing, and the score awarded. The score is out of 100 as mentioned before, and next to the candidate's score there is the common European framework level the candidate has managed to attain. In the middle, you can see a sample E certificate. And on the right, the digital badge all candidates receive, which they can use for their social media, CV, and so on. Last but not least, the support material we've created for you and your students, which is readily available on our website. So, the LT Writing Qualification Handbook shares all the information you may wish to learn about the test, who it's aimed at, the available formats of the test, the test types, the task types, in fact, to be expected, the topics, language functions, grammar points that may be assessed, the marking criteria that will be used to evaluate the candidate's performance, scoring information, grading, and much more. 
the Assessing Writing Performance Guide provides details about the test structure, the task types to practice, marking, grading, and the mark schemes used to evaluate the student's scripts, and so on. Our official practice papers that you can share with your students before their exam day so that they can become acquainted with the physical aspect of the test paper and which will help them feel even more confident and comfortable on their exam day. Lastly, on our website, you will also find information about our academic webinar program, which includes presentations about our LTE suite of tests, a detailed FAQ section for those of you that are new to the LTE test, books from publishers that you can use to prepare your students for the test, as well as our academic support team, for your queries about academic matters. Just drop us a line with your queries if you have any and we'll get back to you with the information you need. So for any academic queries you may contact us at the following address. Academic support at languagecert.org. Thanks for listening today and I hope you found it useful. Good luck to your students when the time comes and goodbye for now.